I'm Alex. Do you remember that in the last video, I talked about how to make your own business. I got a great business idea, and that is a biotech company. Biotech is a broad term. This cluster of companies that use technological applications, biological systems, living organisms or derivatives to make or modify products or processes for a specific use has been around for some time. Now, why would you want to get into biotech? The first and most compelling argument for the most people is money. Here comes the money! Here we go, money talks. Here comes the money. But what is it about the money in biotech that makes this industry so alluring? Well, to put it simply, Pfizer spent over $600 million in the last few years investing in biotech companies and startups and it is not the only pharmaceutical company to do so. And this is just the beginning for biotech and bioengineering medical applications. But apart from healthcare, biotechnology operates in other three major industry areas. Crop production and agriculture, non-food, which are industrial uses of crops, and environmental products like biodegradable plastics, vegetable oil, or biofuels. With such a wide area of industrial uses, starting up a biotech company could be the best business tip you have ever received. Whether you start your company out of a passion for science and technology because you want to help the world or just grow it and sell it at the right time, there will be no better time to do so than right now. Okay, it is true that there is a lot of biotech companies in the world that put out tons of products, but volume is not everything. If I were to ask you what country is the main manufacturer of goods in the world, you would be quick to respond that it is China and rightfully so, but in comes the volume is not everything part. China is manufacturing goods using precision machinery that it buys from Germany, and that comes at a price. There are a multitude of ideas and areas that your future company can exploit when entering the biotech industry. Choose any of the restrictive fields, but make sure you come up with a great idea and build up enough motivation to strive and struggle your way to the top. How do you start and develop a biotech company? Number one is you start off with a great idea, which I know it's a lot easier said than done, but there is a method behind the madness of coming up with a great idea that can stand behind a biotech company. You need to prioritize the field that you're the most passionate about or that you find more lucrative and narrow down your search to that area. A great idea is always an easy and simple solution to something that people encounter daily but don't invest enough time to find a quick fix for it. And here is where you come in. Dedicate enough time and creativity to systematically go through your possible business segment and look for common things that people have not addressed yet. Make sure there is a market for your product. The fact that you find it very useful doesn't mean that other people will have a need for it. Before you think about how your idea is going to make you a rich and influential businessman, think about how you can organize your steps. As with all startups, being organized and efficient will help you better visualize the road ahead and point out any potential problems. People have been doing this for ages. It's called a business plan. And although it sounds boring, having a good business plan will help you get a clearer view of your strategy. You need to be the first one convinced that this plan is viable, so rushing or expediting any of the points is not a valid option. If you feel like writing a business plan is not your best asset, you can turn to professionals. Just remember that when it comes to pitching and upholding your plan, the best professional you can turn to is yourself. Okay, now how do you attract an investment? To grow and launch your idea, you need to monetize it. This is to attract investors that are interested in financing your new venture. Research and development of any new product will cost you a pretty penny. For example, depending on the level of testing required, developing a new drug can set your company back 10 to 15 million dollars and sometimes even much, much more. This is not a step you should miss even if you have the money to do it yourself. And the explanation is simple. If your product cannot convince investors, it will be equally flawed in attracting customers. But neither of those are things that you can do on your own. Bringing on board good people will be critical to your company's success. So first, try to look for partners that can help you put your idea onto paper, visualize it and work out the cost factor behind it. To attract the investment needed for developing your promising idea, be it a new drug or a groundbreaking research tool, you need to put together a team with at least minimum biotech experience. The easy path to success. 
After you've secured funding, your main concern should be to develop and launch the product. As with any startup company, you need a very tight and efficient calendar to make sure that happens fast enough and that investors don't start losing their patience. This is the part where new companies tend to fail by not delivering on term and start trading confidence for time. To avoid being caught up in the emotional and creative roller coaster that is dealing with unhappy investors and disappointed distributors, try to set up and negotiate immediate development steps that are to your advantage. Number five is you need to start online first. The best way to start up a biotech company is keeping it all online at first. You will also need to approach various distributors early and tell them about your project. It will give you room to come back and negotiate a contract once your product nears completion and you have mustered enough hype around it. There will be plenty of time for the brick and mortar side of your business. For the moment, you need to concentrate on looking professional, trustworthy and innovative online. Don't expect people to just appear out of thin air. The fact that you found an investor means your idea is good. But an idea is never so good that it is able to market itself. Make a complete list of strengths and potential side effects, especially if your biotech product is a new drug or supplement. If things are running smoothly enough, you can even keep your current job until you make the final tweaks and see how the product fares on the open market. Just make sure you use all your positive drive and commitment to the project you've worked so hard on. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching and I hope you found the information in this video interesting and I'll see you next video.